No matter how hard I try, I'll never be Jessica Chobot. What's up, guys? I'm Jacob Soberoff. This is Nerdist News, What the Fridays. So Jessica's out today helping host my show, YouTube Nation. It's sort of a weird wife swap situation, except instead of wives, it shows. And uh, you know what? Never mind. Let's just get on to it. America! We love building dams, but we hate seeing those sad little fishies bump into them while trying to spawn. We, you know, we've tried ladders, we've tried doggy doors, trucks, we even airlifted the little guys to get them past barriers, but nothing's really been ideal. What is an ichthyologically empathetic nation to do? Launch them in a cannon! Duh! Woosh Innovations, the perfectly monikered company behind the salmon cannon, originally designed the tube for apples before they realized it worked just as well on live fish. No, really. The device is currently working just swell at a length of 100 feet, with plans to get a 550-foot version working for Washington's massive Grand Coulee Dam. It's great for the salmon, but when do humans get to try this thing out? In my humble opinion, every water park is bullshit until they install one of these babies. Now, life's hardest truth is that the kitchen table is simply not made for board gaming. That's where Geek Chic's gaming tables come in. For the low, low price of two to $16,000, you can customize one of these seriously drool-worthy gaming tables. Whether you're jamming on Dungeons and Dragons or Catan or Don't Wait Daddy, these things will seriously keep you comfy. You will never want to get up, at least not until you have to choke out your buddy who can't seem to follow the f***ing rules. What would you want in your custom board game table? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, the internet has produced many wonders over the years, but it is possible nothing will ever surpass the majesty of a Muppets Beastie Boys crossover. Now give me Dr. Teeth in the Electric Mayhem covering Sabotage, and I will die a happy, happy man. And it is time for your best worst comment of the week. This week's winner is still vlogging 100 who in response to Jessica's question about what you guys wanted to see in the next Ninja Turtles movie asked, why'd the Wonder Years have to end the way they did? Oh, um, geez, man. Uh, that, that, that's kind of a tough one. I mean, Winnie and Kevin undoubtedly made a great couple in their youth, but you know, people change, especially after high school. And, uh, well, they, I mean, they just sort of grew apart. I'm really sorry to have to be the one to explain this stuff to you, especially on a pop culture news show. But, uh, congrats on winning Worst Comment. That's something. All right, that's the week, guys. Go watch Jessica on YouTube Nation and go to Nerdist.com, of course, for all your Nerdist news. But before we go, watch this dog enjoy a casual meal. You are welcome. <laughs>so fun. Do you think we could, I could come back or that would be cool? Uh, no. Take those hipster glasses. Get the f*** off my set. Off. I'm not joking. Does this look like I'm joking? Get off. Faster. Hop, hop, hop.